Hello and welcome to the third video in the series on solving equations. Here we have equations where brackets are involved. Um, so to begin with, we've got 3 bracket 2x minus 5 is equal to 9. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're simply going to expand these brackets. If you're not too sure about expanding brackets, I suggest you take a look at um, the other videos that are available on the channel um, and start there just to just to make sure you're comfortable with this. So 3 multiplied by 2x is going to give me 6x. 3 multiplied by minus 5, that will give me minus 15. All I'm doing there is multiplying out the bracket by multiplying everything that's inside the bracket by the number on the outside. Uh, that is equal to 9. Now what I've got is an equation that's very similar to the ones that we've already looked at. I've got 6x minus 15 is equal to 9. So to get rid of this minus 15, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite of minus 15. To undo that, just do the opposite. So the opposite of minus 15 is plus 15. And so that leaves me with 6x is equal to 24. 6x is equal to 24. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 6 to undo this multiply by 6 that we've got here. And so x is equal to 24 divided by 6. So x is equal to 4. Next one, I've got 4 bracket 2x plus 3. So start by multiplying out the bracket. 4 times 2x gives me 8x. 4 times by plus 3 gives me 12. And that is all equal to 3. Now 8x plus 12 equals 3. To get rid of this plus 12, to undo that plus 12, I'm going to subtract it, doing the opposite again. So that gives me 8x is equal to minus 9. So 8x is equal to minus 9. To get undo this multiply by 8, I'm going to divide by 8. And so my final answer here is going to be x is equal to minus 9 over 8 which I can then write as minus one and one eighth. Simply find how many eighths fit into minus nine, minus one, uh, with a remainder of one. Next one, I've got five bracket two x minus four. So again, expand the brackets first. Five multiplied by two x gives me 10 x. <clears throat> five multiplied by minus four gives me minus 20. That is equal to 12. So to get rid of this minus 20, to undo it, I'm going to add on 20. Simply again, just doing the opposite. So now I've got 10x is equal to 32. Then to undo this multiply by 10, I'm going to divide by 10. And so my final answer is going to be 32 over 10 which I could then say is exactly the same as uh, 3 and 2 tenths which I could then um, I could then say 3 and 2 tenths is exactly the same as 3 and 1 fifth so my final answer there would be x is equal to 3 and 1 fifth next one I've got 8 bracket 3x minus 1 so again multiply out the brackets 8 multiplied by 3x gives me 24x. 8 multiplied by minus 1 is going to give me minus 8. That's all equal to 10. To undo this minus 8, I'm going to do the reverse of minus 8, which is plus 8. So that leaves me with 24x is equal to 18. Then if 24x is equal to 18, this means 24 multiplied by x. So to undo that multiply by 24, I'm going to divide by 24. And so what I end up with is x is equal to 18 over 24. And I can leave that as a fraction. Can I simplify the fraction? Yes, I can. Uh, because 6 fits into both 18 and into 24. So my final answer here is going to be x is equal to 3 quarters.